Hello there everybody and welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Black version. I'm Purple Rodri. Today I am very excited to begin our journey through the Unova region. So let's go ahead and get this adventure started. Hi there! Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. That's right! This world is widely inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon. Living and working together, we complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular, and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? We are going to be playing with the boy character. You're a boy, right? Yes. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my name very quickly. And I'm going to go ahead and put down Rodri. And then we're going to continue talking to Professor Juniper. Your name is Rodri? Yes. So your name's Rodri. What a wonderful name. Well then, I'm going to introduce you to your two best friends. This young man is Sharon. He can be a little difficult, but he's a very honest person. This young woman is Bianca. She's a little flighty, but she works very hard. I think you three have potential, so I'm going to give you a very, very important Pokemon. Rodri! The moment you choose the Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you will meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you find what is important to you in all of these travels. That's right, befriend new people and Pokemon and grow as a person. That is the most important goal for your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Rodri! I heard from Professor Juniper we can have a Pokemon! What's keeping Bianca? Am I a little late again? Sorry! Bianca, I've known for 10 years that you have no sense of time, but seriously? Today's the day we can get a Pokemon from Professor Juniper! I know! Sorry, Rodri! Sorry, Sharon! So, where are the Pokemon? They were delivered to Rodri's house so Rodri gets first pick. Naturally. The Pokemon are waiting for us inside that gift box. Okay, Rodri, you go first and take a peek at the gift box. I want to meet the Pokemon right now. And it looks like we have took our first step into the Unova region. And right away, we are going to be picking the Pokemon that is going to join us all throughout our journey. I've brought three Pokemon, one for you and one for each of your friends. Please settle your choices politely. Enjoy your Pokemon, Professor Juniper. Choose a Pokemon, and inside the box we have the Fire-type Pokemon Tepig, the Grass-type Pokemon Snivy, and the Water-type Pokemon Oshawott. We have decided on a starter Pokemon, and that starter Pokemon is going to be... The water type Pokemon Oshawott! So yes, this is the Pokemon that we want. We chose Oshawott! Okay, I'll take this Pokemon! Sharon, that one's yours! Hey, how come you get to pick out my Pokemon? Oh, never mind. I wanted Snivy from the start anyway. Everyone has chosen a Pokemon, so that's that! Hey, I know! Let's have a Pokemon battle! Honestly, Bianca, even though they're still weak Pokemon, you shouldn't have Pokemon battles inside a house. Don't be a worry, Wart. These little ones are weak, like you said. We have to let them battle so they'll get stronger. It's settled, Rodri. Get ready for a Pokemon battle. Here we go, Rodri versus Bianca. So it looks like right off the bat, we're going to get a battle going. This is pretty exciting. It's not like anything I've seen before. We are challenged by Pokemon trainer Bianca, who's going to send out Tepig. 
no problems here. We don't have any weaknesses against Tepig. It's not like any of our Pokemon have super effective moves anyways. So it's just going to be a, a battle of, you know, butting heads and seeing who comes out on top. I'm going to go ahead and just throw out the tackles. You know, see if we can weaken down this Tepig a little bit. Wow, Tepig hit a crit on us. Ah, uh, did not expect that. We'll see if we can pull it back from that. I don't know if we'll be able to. I was not. We hit a crit too. What in the heck is going on here? Two crits right off the bat. An exciting battle is on its way. We're going to go for the tackle. Uh, and hopefully with that tackle, we can take out the Tepig. And we have some madness is happening. Two crits at the beginning. The Pokemon on both sides hit the best. We got 500 for winning. Whoa! Rotary, you're gonna be an awesome trainer someday, I can tell, no doubt. Uh, Bianca, would you take a look around? Whoa, whoa what happened? Whoa, Pokemon are amazing, so little, but so strong. I'm so glad that I get to have a Pokemon. Oh, I'm sorry about your room, Rotary. You are completely hopeless. Here, I'll restore your Pokemon for you. So Sharon seems to be healing up our Pokemon, uh, which is pretty cool. He's also healing up ours. I guess he might be a little more help uh, throughout our journey. Hey, Sharon, how about you battle too? With all you know, I'm sure you can battle without turning the room into a disaster area like I did. I believe you're right. It'll be no problem for me to keep the room from getting any messier. Besides, it's not fair if you two are the only ones to get to have fun battling. It's decided. You'll be my opponent in our first Pokemon battle. Let's see what you can do, Snivy. Here we go once again, Rodri versus Sharon. So we have two battles back to back. This is definitely not like anything I've seen before. I was not expecting to have this much action right away, but it seems like we do. Snivy is going to be the one who is going to be super effective on us, but at least we don't have those moves as of now. Let's see if we can pull off another crit like we did against Bianca. These are pretty crazy for our first battles. It looks like they're getting uh, very heated and it's setting a platform for all the upcoming uh, things in this game. As you guys know, this is a fully blind LP. I have never played this game before and this is the region that I know the least about. So I'm definitely going to need your guys' help to make our way throughout this journey. I want to build a very strong team that works well together around Oshawa. Now that you guys know that's our starter, I really want our team to come together to work very well together and to be the team that's going to take us to the top and I know that we can definitely build that team uh, as one and I know that's definitely something that we'll be able to do together. I'm going to keep using the tackle because it looks like we are about to take down the Snivy and we have won two battles back to back and holy crap we had three HP. We took down the Snivy a little more heated than I thought we defeated Pokemon Trainer Sharon. Ah, so that's a Pokemon battle. We got 500 for winning. I made a strange blunder in my first battle, but this feeling I have, I'm finally a trainer. But first, we'd better go apologize to your mother about this messed up room. Ew, I'd better come too. You know, their Pokemon weren't the only things that got messed up. This room is pretty messy. How footprints went all over the wall, I have no idea. Let's head downstairs and talk to our mother. I'm very sorry about all the trouble, ma'am. Well, um, we can clean up. Cleaning up? No worries, I'll take care of it later. Sure, you should be on your way to meet Professor Juniper. Yes, thank you. Please excuse us. Come on, let's go thank Professor Juniper. I'll be waiting in front of the Pokemon Research Lab. Oh wait, I'm gonna go home first. Thanks for having us over. My, my, Rotary! Pokemon battles are so lively, aren't they? I could hear the Pokemon's cries clear down here. Hmm, that sure remind me of my first Pokemon battle. Oh, and you know, after a battle, you need to rest your Pokemon. So there we go, our mother is healing up our Pokemon. What a super nice lady. Your Pokemon is looking great. Now, if you're going out, don't forget your cross transceiver. So it looks like we have received a certain item, the X transceiver. I don't know exactly what that does. I'm guessing it's something kind of like the Pokegear. You're going to thank the professor too, right? Better get going, honey! Alright, let's go make our way 
and finally get to meet the professor. It has been a while. It looks like Bianca is heading down somewhere, but it also looks like Sharon is up here. So let's go ahead and talk to him. I'm sorry, but could you go to Bianca's house? I'll bet she's spacing out like she usually does. She's totally flighty. Okay, we have to go to Bianca's house because something's happening around here. I don't know what's going on with these two, but it looks like we're gonna figure it out sooner or later. No, no, no! A thousand times no! But I'm, I'm a good trainer who got a Pokemon and everything! I can totally go on an adventure! Oh, it's okay. It's fine. I'll be waiting for you in front of the lab, okay? Let's go ahead and talk to her dad. What nonsense is this? How could my daughter, who knows nothing about the world, be going on a journey with Pokemon? I think sometimes you just have to let them go. All three of us are going to be going on a journey, so I expect us all to have a pretty good adventure. They seem to be in front of the professor's lab, so let's go ahead and talk to him. Okay, let's go meet the professor! Hi there, I've been waiting for you, young people. Let me introduce myself again. My name is... Professor Juniper, we know your name. Come, come, Sharon. This is not a time to take things lightly. Today is a day to remember always, so it's best to behave with some formality. That being so, once again, my name is Professor Juniper, and I am researching when and how the creatures called Pokemon came into existence. Oh, that's unusual. You've already had a Pokemon battle, so maybe that's why. It feels as though your Pokemon have already begun to trust you. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a nickname? And yes, we are actually going to be giving our Oshawott a nickname. Now, this nickname actually comes from one of my favorite book series, The Inheritance Cycle. This was just a normal human guy who, with his determination, was able to accomplish all the goals that he set out to. And I definitely think we want someone like that around, and I think it'll be more than a benefit to have someone like that around us on our journey. So we're going to be naming our Oshawott Roran. I see! Are you okay with the nickname Roran? Yes. Roran is its name! That is such a great name! That's where I gave you all of your Pokémon! It's for the Pokédex, right? Pokédex? I am astonished! Nice work, Sharon! You've already studied Pokémon extensively, haven't you? Still, let me explain everything from the beginning, for everyone's sake! The Pokédex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So I want you three to visit many places and meet all the Pokémon in the Unifor region. This is my request. Rodri, Sharon, Bianca, you'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokédex, will you not? And you bet we will, yes. Okay. I mean, yes, Professor. Thank you very much. Because of you, I can become a Pokémon trainer exactly as I've always wished. All of you, thanks. You have given me the best possible answer. So there we go, we obtained the Pokedex, and I feel like it's going to be very valuable across our journey. Next, I need to teach you how to meet Pokemon. Please meet me at Route 1, okay? Alright, Professor, we're going to be following you up very shortly. Since the Professor asked us, it's okay to go on an adventure, right? I can explore and maybe find out what I want to do in life. I think I'd like that. Of course. We can travel however we want while we complete the Pokedex. Alright guys, let's make our way to Route 1 then, because that is where the Professor wants us to go. Hey, Rodri, wait up! Oh, there you are! And what did the Professor have to say? She asked you to complete the Pokedex, I can't believe it! Well, actually I can, I already knew she was going to ask! That's why I brought you three of these town maps, take them with you! What a nice lady, it looks like our mom is giving us the town maps, that's gonna be pretty cool. I use the town maps definitely at the beginnings of uh, adventures, because I feel like we're gonna be getting lost quite a bit, so they're gonna come in handy. As for your room, Rodri, or what's left of it, no need for any of you to worry, I'll take care of tidying up, okay Rodri? What a nice lady, she's gonna be cleaning up our room for us. Oh Pokemon, they're so cute, but they have enough power to destroy a bedroom. They are really something. With Pokemon like that at your side, you'll be safer wherever you go. I'll let your parents know. I hope that, in addition to Pokemon, you'll find lots and lots of places you'll like in the Unova region and become wonderful adults. Have a great trip. Thanks, Mom. Catch you later. And hope everything goes well. If I use the town map, I'll always know where I am. That's certainly helpful. Shall we head to Route 1? The professor's waiting. Let's go. Let's go. Rodri, hurry and come too, okay? 
All right, guys, so it looks like Sharon and Bianca went ahead. Let's go ahead and make our way to Route 1 and see what's waiting for us. Rodri, it's this way! Bianca says, if we're starting a journey together, she wants us all to take our first step at the same time. Hey, Rodri, let's all take our first step on Route 1 together. Okay, here we go. One, two... And we have made it to Route 1. Oh, I wonder what will happen. Isn't this so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Professor Juniper, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Now that everyone's here, I'll explain. The Pokédex pages update automatically whenever you meet a Pokémon. Moreover, it's set up so that you obtain even more information when you catch a Pokémon. To make this clear, I'm going to demonstrate how to catch a Pokémon. Alright, so it looks like it, this is basically the Pokémon catching tutorial. We weaken a Pokémon, we throw a Pokéball, and we catch it. It's pretty cool that it's actually the Professor showing us. I kind of like that. And the, what kind of Pokémon is this? Mincino? Oh man, we are going to be in for some crazy stuff. I don't know any of the Pokemon in this generation, so you guys are definitely going to help me out. Going to have to help me out because it's going to be a crazy, crazy blind let's play. I'm really looking forward to building our team together, to really get it going, to making our way to the first gym. Things are going to be very exciting, so this is going to be pretty great. As you can see, Professor Juniper is throwing out a Pokeball, and my guess is that Professor Juniper is probably going to catch it. And there we go. Uh, Patch Rats was caught. Uh, that, that, that's a strange name for it, but uh, makes sense. And let's see what Professor Juniper has to say. Did you see that just now? Here's how it goes, step by step. First, reduce the Pokemon's HP. All right, the professor is basically just telling us how to catch the Pokemon. Uh, it's very, very simple. You weaken a Pokemon, you throw a Pokeball, or you put some status effects on it, uh, which will make it easier for you to catch. So we obtained some Pokeballs. Very cool. Uh, right away, we might have to catch some Pokemon and see if we can add them to our team. Pokeballs are used for catching Pokemon and for carrying the Pokemon you catch. I'm going on ahead. I'll be waiting for you in Accumula Town. She forgot to say that Pokemon jump out as you in the tall grass. I'm heading to Accumula Town too. I think I'll go too. I'm looking forward to the next town so I can go shopping for Pokeballs. Wait a minute. Hey, listen, Rodri, Sharon. I thought of something fun. But we need to get going. I'd imagine the professor's waiting too. Would you just listen a sec seriously? Why don't we see who can catch the most Pokemon? The person carrying the most Pokemon, including the one received from Professor Juniper, is the winner. Huh, actually, that sounds interesting. It will fill up Pokedex pages, so I'm sure it will please the professor too. Okay then, until we reach Accumula Town, take care of healing your Pokemon at your own house. Me and Tepic will do the best for sure. Alright guys, so it looks like we've been challenged to catch more Pokemon than both of them. So, if you think or have any ideas or any tips on what Pokemon we should add to our team, maybe there will be some in this route, in this route that we can catch, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will be making our way to Acumula Town. If you guys have any tips, let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.